Ryan and Huey are pranking the housemates. Oh, yeah. but, but basically, me and Huey made it official the other day that we was going out with each other, but he was getting a bit worried that my mum was not going to be approving of him, of obviously the situation yeah. is what's going on. This sounds really, 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 really bizarre, but... Oh. That is actually proposed oh. to <laughs> Oh, wait, is this serious? Oh, no. So <laughs> no, it's not. Do you know, if they're being serious, then... That's good amazing. Good luck well to them played. and congratulations, you know? We've been going out with each other for a few days, but he was worried about whether Mum liked him or not. I'm not joking. Well, you ain't, ain't got to worry about it now, cos... I'm not saying we're going to get married well, next some... week. Yeah. I'm, I can't afford it. I'm fucking skint until I start being some PAs <laughs> or, like... Or get, get my calendar and that out. Do you want to marry this fella? Yeah. Guys, it's a very serious commitment. Do you not feel like you need to spend time together outside of the house and really get well, to know each other Well, if we're going to do that when we leave here. Well, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong, but I've got the ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real ring. We can get a real one when we leave. You promised me you watch it. Yeah, it's not the ring that matters anyway. No, I'm not bothered about that. I'm saying you're not actually going to say it's a joke. No, what? Because if you're all in on the fucking joke or something, then I look like a dickhead. Yeah, Jackson's big time in on the joke. I need a cup of tea right now. This is a moche. Ryan, yeah. if you're winding what? me up, I'm going to kill you. No, why would you? Oh, yeah. I just... Can I say, I'm not storming off, I just want to go and get cigarettes, OK? Well, I I'm not... I can't play charades. Yeah. I'm the shittest actor of all time. Okay. I, I can't play charades, so... He Maybe it's not as serious as people think, but you did get down the money and whatever. Yeah. What? It's alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it's OK, it's alright. What is it, man? Are you fight like you're joking or what? So what? Mate, it's the best thing to do. Anyone can get engaged any time they want to, that's important. But when I think about the people who fought for generations to do what they've just done, and I just think, it so. I'm sorry, you have to mean it. Mean it. I'm sorry, you have to be sincere, and you have to know that when you say those words to someone, they matter. Oh, come on, <laughs> <laughs> they have to matter. Yeah, I know, I know, you don't know, just know, say it as a fucking... Like a childish thing. I understand that. Sorry, it's no, fine. No, I'm no, sorry, no, I'm just, just like... You're passionate, mate. You're passionate about the same things I believe in. Do you know what? If they're sincere and they are married and they live together for the rest of their lives, then I applaud them. I just, I swear, I swear on my life, if they are taking the fucking you piss... piss. I will lose my fucking temper. <laughs> yeah, and so you would. Everyone would. I, I would. Like I've kept my cool in this I house. Would. You would. But if oh, they're doing would. that That's because if they're doing that because they think it's impressive or funny or because they For think it's just time. a flippant thing, like oh we're boyfriends. We'll go out of here. I'm and sorry. It off. I, I'm I'm sorry. I can't. It's been 21 minutes since Huey and Ryan played their proposal prank. What do you think, Laura? I don't know. You just believe. You just believe. I do. I do coach. think you all need to chill the fuck out. I re I'm sorry, but I do. It's just. It... If if it's true, then I apologise to them for doubting it. But if I was outside, if it's not, I'd be embarrassed of myself. I was then. It's, it's, it's a joke. Yeah, but I really would. I mean, okay, it's Huey and Ryan that we're talking exactly, about. Exactly. Same so, <laughs> just saying, yeah, it's yeah. Huey and Ryan. So, yeah, right. so why are you all taking it so seriously then? Serious Sam, thing? don't take it seriously. Mate, I'm fine. I'm chill. Honestly, don't, I just don't want take it seriously. Fooled. I just don't want people to be fooled. Because would they joke about, would they joke about slavery? Would they joke about anything serious? No, would they joke about? No, no, but all I'm saying is, it's you don't joke about the oppression of millions of people. I just mean it like, it's what if it's like a bit of a, a light-hearted... You don't joke like, about the oppression of millions of people, you A light-hearted thing that might be a joke, but obviously it's not been taken as a joke at all. You don't make a mockery of something that people have fought it for generations It wasn't to make for. a mockery of you, though, Andy. Not it, of me. It's not personal. It's not about, <laughs> about, it's not about me. Millions it's not about people. me. No, it's not. Okay. It's, it's about people being thing. stoned to death in other countries because they love someone the same gender as them. Stoned to death! Thrown off buildings! Right, right okay. Come sit down. I need to calm down, I'm sorry. I need to calm down. Still angry. Is it more kicking off? Sorry, I just need to be on my own, sorry. Yeah, we'll leave you. No, 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 sorry, I just need to be on my own under pillows. That's okay. fine. Alright. Oh my god, Andy's going nuts, he's pushing the doors and everything. Is it a fucking joke? What? I'm just I'm just storming into the other room saying people are being stoned to death. 
What do you mean? In other what? countries. Stop saying that on, I swear to God that he's making He us, is asking. He's making us, his, he's, he's a his, very his, fucking collective fuck person. He's fucking no one with no, no where is he? His, where the fuck is he? Turn his shit back on us, we're doing fucking nothing wrong. I'm sorry, but I just sat out there and just said, guys, we take this really to light hearted. Like hated people to make us behave. Guys, but you know you're not, so don't worry. You've got every right to be upset. Andy, can you walk inside for a minute, please? Because we, ne we, we need Hue to talk Huey, to can I explain something to you first? Please. Right. And let sit down. Have a seat. Just let, just let me let me explain what the, what the situation is before you speak to Andy. Hang on, Chelsea. No, I want to come in on it. Andy. Oh, I don't want to sit outside. No, 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 Chelsea, no, 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 Chelsea, please. No, it's all right. But you can listen if you want to. I want to sit here and me talk and to Ryan. 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 Andy. Andy, do you want me in there? Can I sit here? Yes. Shall I just say? Shall I just Just tell me about your point of view and what you think of. This is my point of view. I applaud your right to say. Will you marry me? And I yeah, so I applaud that as well. That. And that's Why great. would I, so I'm not as a person who's a member, let's call it LGBT community, to be ignorant towards anybody or not equal? To say. I do know what you're trying what to say. What annoyed me was someone saying, someone people else. are saying it's a joke. It's not what you've done. People are saying it's a joke. Other people, not you, not Ryan. And, and, and so I'm saying, do you know what? If it's a joke, it's sick. Now, if, if it's real, which is right, it is real, Yes? No. No, it's a joke. So it is a joke. Yeah. Then that's sick. How? And you should be ashamed of yourself. I sh we sh so what about when Sam and Emma had a fake marriage? You're trying to say I should be ashamed. I should be ashamed of myself. Because you're mocking. I am mocking. Really what about Sam and Emma not Huey. mocking? Huey, let's not you're trying let's... to twist things back. How are we mocking? By I'm always trying to twist things. A bit of a prank. Huey. It's not How a prank. It's not funny. Huey. There are people being Shouts stoned to death. Yeah, but so is it, I'm so respectful said. towards things that we can have a bit of a joke like that. It's not funny. So, Huey. so when it's me and Ryan is being funny. serious with each other, then you're trying to make out. Funny. But why is that funny? We are not even found it funny. Threatened with prison. So do not think that I think that's wrong, then. Wrong. But you're saying I'm wrong than it happens to people. It's not something to laugh about. What about when Sam and Emma have had a fake marriage? Why Huey, is that listen, not sick? Huey. Because they haven't fought for generations to be able to have it's a subject, marriage. It's a because so they're not being stoned to death and, and put in prison and ostracised from their families. Don't tell me I'm sick. Huey, Huey, Don't guy, tell me I'm guy, sick when you had a bit of... He just down. said. Nobody's just down. fucking down. said. Nobody has just said. He just said it's sick that we had a joke about that. We cannot compare. How is a Straight fucking couple sick pretending a fucking to get engaged. No, he's trying to twist things back. We had a fucking joke. How is a sick? Why should, what did your mum say to you? Why should what I leave him when he's telling me I'm what sick? What did your mum say to you? Andy is talking to Big Brother about Huey and Ryan's prank. I know it's dramatic. I know I've just let this get to me and I shouldn't, like, what's it matter? Two pranksters have pulled a prank. But when I hear people saying it's just a joke, it doesn't matter, do you know what it does? It really matters. It matters for the man in prison. It matters for the man just about to be pushed off a building. It matters for the person tied up on their knees, about to be stoned to death. I am so proud to wear this ring. Not just because I love Ed, but because this represents something. Huey, I need to uh, clarify one thing. I didn't say you were sick. I didn't mean you were sick. I don't think you're sick. You said it was sick for us to have a joke about I, that. I, that's what I said, and maybe that was too strong. Yeah, it was. All right. Thank you. But for I was that. offended by the joke. Can we? Can I just explain to you, sir? Can you we leave it? There, yeah, can, can we just explain? Because I, I don't want you to be upset about it. Andy, no one wants you to be upset. Me and, it really me and Ryan, joke. me and Ryan would never joke about a huge thing like that. That we're well, part I'm of. We're part of that. If we went around saying homophobic things about gay marriage, that's a completely different it, story. That would be straight. sick. It, it, yes, we had a joke. Like I'm sorry to you if you're upset about it, need, but I'm not yeah. sorry for having the joke because it was a laugh. We didn't do anything wrong. That's fine. I'm a bed I, man. Every I don't night think in it was there. a funny joke. I've so, made that point. But that's fine. We don't always find jokes. Funny, but so, you don't make a controversial I, no, comment I think about it. Was the or insinuation, of funny, actually. And I do think it was. I do think it was hugely offensive. inappropriate. And I do How? think it was offensive. How? And I'm not going to change what I'm saying. 
I do think it was offensive. How? I've explained, and I'm just going to go out for a cigarette, but thank you for explaining to me. But I didn't say you were sick. I think it was an inappropriate joke. No, you said it was sick for doing that. And I'm just not going to change from that. That's I'm fine. not. Just leave I'm it. I'm sorry. Just leave it now. Just leave okay. it. Just leave it. Just leave it. You've said your opinion. Just leave it. Just just you can just agree it. to disagree. Leave it there. Andy is alone in the garden. Huey and Ryan have called it a night. How's the mood in the house? Uh, generally, uh, absolutely fine. Um, Huey is not one to let go of things, so uh, I'm kind of anticipating some kind of extraordinarily irritating conversation today, but hopefully that won't happen. It really touched a nerve, this uh, so-called prank last night. I do think what they did was very clumsy. I do think it was insensitive. I don't think it was funny, and that was the, that was the point I was making. Huey just has to have the last word, you know, and again was accusing me of twisting things and manipulating things. He, he cannot let go of this false impression that I am deliberately manufacturing um, things that make him look bad. It doesn't occur to him that maybe he looks bad because he sometimes acts like an idiot. Um, I, I'm generally, I'm tired of these pranks anyway. I mean, come on. Saying something that isn't true, pretending that it is true, and then later revealing to people that it wasn't true, it's, it's not exactly the highest form of wit. It's all getting a little bit old now. Sam and Andy are talking about last night's prank. I said sorry to Huey because I think Jason told me this afternoon, he said, actually, you did say you're sick, and I didn't mean that. Yeah, I think and that's I shouldn't have only... said that, that's too strong. Yeah, he said you'd said that, but I think that's the only thing that pissed him off. This place just it makes me annoyed at myself sometimes because... You'd react in a way that you wouldn't usually yeah. react to things. Anyway, I've said sorry to Huey for saying that word, yeah, so... of course. All right, I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit, love. You all right, Ryan? Sorry? You all right? Yeah, I'm good at you. I feel a bit embarrassed by how I overreacted last night, and I, you know, I well, said I've already said I've already said to Huey, I was I'm sorry for saying you're sick. That's not what I meant to come out of my mouth. Well, if it has offended you, then I will apologise because I don't intend to go out to offend people. That's I know you don't. Not right. what I'm about, but um, I know it's just a, it was just kidding around. Well, it's done now anyway, so yeah. Anyhow, thanks. I hate nominations. My second nomination is Andy. Uh, reasons for that is he causes carnage out of absolute nowhere. Yesterday, me and, me and Huey did a fake proposal. He turned it around saying that we was mocking the community and we was a mockery of, uh, of gay marriage and all sorts, even though I'm gay myself. And I, I, I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't work him out. I don't know what his game is. I don't know whether this is him trying to get the public to dislike me and Huey. Um, my first nomination is Andy. Last night a situation happened where me and Ryan were having a joke and it was a bit of a laugh and Andy, in my opinion, turned it into this kind of controversial subject thing to say that we were basically being disrespectful towards like, gay marriage and equality, um, which was completely uncalled for, no need for that to happen. I've been trying to get home Andy recently and he's done something yet again that has made us not be on proper speaking terms and he turned a bit of banter into something completely and utterly different and that was all in his end. Uh, my first nomination is Huey and it's uh, nothing to do with last night's indecent proposal. It's to do with, I guess, a couple of weeks uh, recently where I've uh, felt under siege from him at times, where we've had conversations like the other morning when he was um, so desperate to tell me that he thought I was a liar and a storyteller. And it just made me feel very sad. It made me feel very unhappy. It made me feel like I was under attack. 